Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm Gus Johnson, along with Chris Collinsworth. Glad to have you with us for this head-to-head -head between the Giants and the Colts. Sets up the play action, and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Surveys the field. Watch out, he's got space. And he's gone! Next stop, Painter! Touchdown, New York! He lets it go. Bowley with the interception. Is he going to score? Touchdown, G-Man. Goes through his progression. Takes it toward the sideline. He's free. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect a punt. I'm not sure about this call. Dumps it out left. And that's a catch. Aaron Ross was there for the stop. Peyton Manning has the hot hand right now. And, of course, that surprises nobody, especially this defense. He's one of the most accurate passers in the league. So to stop him, you have to get some heat on him. He's going to throw it. Up top! Oh, he hauls it in! Touchdown, Indianapolis! That's the kind of pitch and catch you just love to see in the NFL. And the difference is these quarterbacks' abilities to zip it in. Good coverage downfield. Comes down with it. He's wrestled down at the 34-yard line. The Giants are picking up nice yardage just about every time they go to the air. Looking for a man. He completes it. He's dropped down at the 27-yard line. It's a pass. And he gives the Giants a first and goal. The Giants are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. Flips out short. Touchdown, G-Man. The Giants uses seven plays to go 80 yards. Eli Man. Here's a halfback. Daylight. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. The Giants set out to run it down their throats. Had some success in the first half with that, and now it looks like all that running is really taking its toll on the defense. The kick is off target. Drops back and put down immediately. So no luck for the offense on that drive as they'll go three and out. Short throw to the right. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. Goes through his progression. Picked up. Streaks down the sideline. Touchdown, G-Man. The defense now has two interceptions in this game. It's amazing how much quicker defensive backs look to me on the field today than, say, 20, 25 years ago when I played. I think it was 25 years ago. It was like about 105 years ago. Searching for an open man. It's complete for a big game. He's dropped down at the 19. This guy's arm is really something, isn't it? He's not afraid to make any throw at any time. Leaves the pocket and heads to his left. And 
And he adds the point after. The Giants get the ball back. He's loose and running strong. And he coasts into the end zone. Touchdown! He takes it all the way back. And that should just about do it in this one. Yeah, that was the dagger. That was the one that finally put him out of their misery. Point after is good. With just over a minute to go in regulation, the score is... Here's the throw. Finds room along the sideline. Running down the sideline. Gone! Get this man a new contract! Touchdown, Colts! And he adds the point after. With just over a minute to go in regulation, the score is... The Colts, 21. The Giants, 35. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon, the official wireless service sponsor of the NFL. The Giants recover the onside kick. I'm not going to say this thing is over, but it really doesn't look too good at this point. They're down two possessions. They just gave the other teams a good field position. Tough spot right here. And he's tackled at the 35. Bradshaw racks up five on the run. Run, right side. He's wrestled down at the 18. Here's the handoff, and he's brought down hard behind the line. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticized because they don't try to run the football enough. But when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's brought down at the 13. And that's an area where he excels. He works his way through his progressions quickly and doesn't hesitate when he sees a receiver break free in coverage. They'll keep it on the ground again. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. That's all from Lucas Oil Stadium. Highlights are next, so stay right with us. Here's today's Swagger Player of the Game, presented by Old Spice Deodorant, the greatest smell in the NFL. It's crunch time. Play of the Game.